Okay. You're... You need seven and seven eighths cups. All right. Of sugar. Got it. Here we go. The sugar into here. Oh. And, and now, yeah, the whole okay. thing. All, the whole thing. What are we adding, huh? you have Green. to stir it constantly stir it constantly until it comes to a boil. Mm -hmm. So I should pour it and then put it on the stove. Yeah. Okay. Done? Yeah. Now, now we wait. Aunt Bev, how much do we wait? How long? Oh, a couple minutes, maybe. Um, a couple minutes. As soon as you think that this is boiled hard enough, you take a spoon and you put it in the water and you go like this. All right, we're testing to see if we make softballs. Can I put water on it? Yeah, just put put it in the water and bring the spoon up. Yeah. No. Not really. All right. We're testing it again. What do you think, Aunt Bev? See, if you go like this. I see. See, it's starting to boil. Starting to. Got it. And then when it starts to boil, that isn't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be more bally. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> Aunt Bev thinks this is the one. Now pick it up in your fingers. Yeah. No. <laughs> I failed. <laughs> ah, like that. Now that is really close. We're really close. No. no. See there, feel that. That's a comfortable ball. So that's good? It's done. It's done. It's done. And now what you're going to do is, and you do not scrape the pan. Don't you dump this it. into the two platters. Got it. Sticking? No, it won't crack. Ah, yes, that makes sense. If you use china, it doesn't crack. This is china, yeah. Okay. Pour no, keep pouring. Keep pouring. And then go to the other one. Okay. Pour, dump it, dump it. It's a little bit left. Oh, get up. And don't no, no, keep pouring. Keep going. Don't get so long. Okay, that's good. Yeah. We just returned from Haggy's and we got Aunt Bev, how many pounds? Oh, three, about a little over three. Three pounds of dark and chocolate. Now, yeah, what you do is you can either chunk this And it's called coating chocolate. That's coating chocolate, yeah. Stir it, then it gets loose, and then it turns white. I am 
um, stirring this creamy uh, opera fudge. Aha, uh -huh. and your technique is the pull and wrap. That is your technique. Mine is the pull and <laughs> rollover. Pull and rollover, all right. <laughs> all right. Two plates going. Looking good. I don't have a technique. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and what's the dog doing? What's the cat doing? <laughs> is, she, is she hiding? Probably hiding. Oh, yeah. Now getting, you're getting it. This is supposed to happen, isn't yes, it? Yes, okay, so mom, you, you turn it. Ah! Should I put vanilla in now? Mom. What? Vanilla in vanilla? there? Yeah, this is, this is different here. Oopsie. Dexter! She was. Oh, Dexter. Come here, bud. You have to let it cool. But we're eight letting minute, it cool. Eight minutes. Eight minutes to the time. The 20-minute timer has gone off, and now we make balls. That's right. We're making the balls. <laughs> making the balls. All right. There it is. Making the balls. We have the coating chocolate ready to be put in the microwave. We are microwaving the chocolate for five minutes at 50% heat. We've melted the chocolate. What? We've dropped in the candy. You roll it around, then you put it right back on the plate. It's very easy. That's it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right. Marshmallows. If you have extra, you drop pretzels in the chocolate. And also marshmallows. And marshmallows. And you put it on a cookie sheet. And then you bake it for how long? No. You just leave it till they're dry. It's, it's... Don't bake this. <laughs> leave it till they're dry. Then you let the candy sit until it is cool and dry. 